up? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing something that I've been wanting to do for a long time, which is review the Fenty Beauty Beach Please collection. This is their new summer collection that just dropped and I am in love. In love. That is all I can say about it. So I didn't get the entire collection. I only got the products that I knew I was really going to use and just fell in love with it just by looking at the products on social media. I picked the Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Foil in the shade Mimosa Sunrise and Sangria Sunset. So I already touched it, so it's all kind of like messed up and I messed around with it, but this is so beautiful. This is probably the more iconic one in the Fenty Beauty Summer Collection, so I definitely wanted to get this one and play around with it. I also got the Island Bling, which is the 2-in-1 Liquid Eye Shimmer. I love liquid eye shimmers. This was so beautiful. I got the shade Teeny Kini in Mamacita. So this is almost a complete full face of Fenty Beauty products. I did use some other products here and there, but I tried to incorporate as much Fenty Beauty as I could. So, if you'd like to know how I got this look and my review of the Fenty Beauty Beach Please collection, please keep watching. So I've already prepped my eyes with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. So the eyes are ready to go, but the face is not. So I'm going to go ahead and apply some of the matte cream by MAC Cosmetics and I usually use this as a primer um, because my face does get super oily. So you guys have heard me say in like my other videos, this does get pretty oily in these areas right here. I'm actually going to do my little pre-conceal technique because of the bags I have under my eyes here. So that's just enough for me, just a few dots. Okay, so now that it's all brightened up, I'm now going to go in with the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundation. This is the shade 270. I'm gonna pack that on. So I'm going to go over it with a brush and then right after I'm going to make sure everything is all set in well with my beauty blender. Taking it down to my neck a little bit. This is a little bit different for me because I usually do my eyes first and then my foundation. But I really wanted to try something different today. So I'm doing foundation start going on my beauty blender here to make sure it's all set in correctly. Now I'm going to go in with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Light Neutral. And I'm going to be pretty generous, or maybe not, but I do really want to brighten up my under eye here. And then after I do the eyes, I might go over it one more time. Concealing is just so important for me. I always feel like I have these bags under my eyes, so I always like to really conceal as much as I can. Going on my beauty blender. I feel like I'm killing my face right now. Like I'm really killing my face. Just really trying to blend it out because this concealer is so thick. I'm not going to set the under eyes yet because I might put another coat on top after I do my eyes. So I'm just going to leave it as is for now and kind of just like touch up on it here and there. So this is the packaging. Very, very pretty. I think it really goes with the whole vibe of the collection. When you open it up, it obviously, everyone has probably seen this a million times, but if you haven't by chance, this is what it looks like. So this is the Sangria Sunset and this is the Mimosa Sunrise. So I really want to incorporate this and I think I'm mainly going to use it on my lids. And I think I might use this as a blush as well and kind of extend it off into my cheekbone just to kind of connect it a little bit. I want to do something different. But I also might play it safe, I'm not really sure. But I really did want to try them 
If you guys don't want me to swatch them on my hand, I can really quick. So you guys can kind of see. This is the Mimosa Sunrise. This is Sangria Sunset. I'm going to spray my face really quick with the MAC Fix Plus just to make sure. I kind of want like a little bit of a dewy look this time. Not too matte. I feel like this look with like these shimmers really needs like some dewiness, you know? I'm going to go in with the Sangria Sunset. Ooh, I can't wait. Now I'm gonna go ahead and start putting that into the crease here. Oh, dang, okay. Rihanna did that. That is for sure. This looks so good. I'm gonna kind of take that out a little bit. I really want to buff this out on the crease, bring it down here. That looks so good. I'm really liking that so far. This is amazing right now. I love how Fenty is just like changing the makeup game. Like they are totally changing the way people highlight the way people use product. I totally love that about them. They're not like a typical makeup brand that's like you have to do your makeup this way and highlight has, has to be used this way. So like even on the packaging, it says like freestyle highlighter duo. Like even that is telling me like freestyle, like use this as you please. It can be used as an eyeshadow, it can be used on the body, anywhere on the face, like you'd regularly as a highlight. On the lip even, I think I'm kind of going to try that maybe too. So I think that that is just so cool of them. They're totally changing the makeup game and I love that. Even with these striking colors, like who would ever think to put these shades like as highlighters, but it just works. And I mean, no one can do it better than Rihanna. So I love that about this brand. So to deepen that a little bit more, I'm actually gonna take this brush and the MAC Fix Plus and I'm going to spray it a little bit and just damp that brush up. And I'm going to dip it into the Sangria Sunset here. I'm going to put it even deeper into the crease. See how that kind of just deepened that like so much more? Yes. So now I'm actually going to go in with a Mimosa Sunrise. And I'm just going to pack it onto my brush here and start putting it into the outer corner of my eye and lightly swooping that in. And I'm gonna take this about halfway across the lid, not completely. And I'm gonna deepen this as well in a second. I really want these colors to be vibrant. Ooh, it looks so good. Okay, I'm way too excited, I'm sorry. To deepen this up even more, I'm gonna take this brush. Once again, I'm going to wet it a little bit with the MAC Fix Plus. And go in with that same Mimosa Sunrise. Mimosa Sunrise, I love these names. They have such cute names. And just deepen this up here. Look at that difference. What I think I'm going to do is take the Island Bling. Since I'm doing a more vibrant look, I really want to sh 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 sh. So I'm going to take the shade Mamacita and I'm going to put it right where the Mimosa Sunrise ended just in the center here. Let me get a little bit closer so you guys can see. Just in the center here. I'm going to start connecting that to the Mimosa Sunrise. Love that. Kind of made it a little bit more vibrant. And the reason I'm doing this is because I'm going to put the shade Teeny Keeny 
in the inner corner in a second and this kind of gives it like a gradual connection to the really bright teeny keeny shade they're a little bit hard to work with to be honest i think they're more like you have to like build on them and like let them dry i think i just made the mistake of possibly building too quickly so now I'm going to take the shade Teeny Keeny and I'm going to fill in whatever empty space is left on my lid and kind of bring it into the tear duct. And I'm going to try and not make the mistake of packing on too much at once. Whoa, this color is so pretty though. Wow. That color is insane. Kind of bring it down into the tear duct here. With whatever is left and I'll go ahead and brighten it later if needed. Mm, that looks good. I'm gonna go in with that Sangria Sunset and I'm kind of just on the outer V of my eye, going to add a little bit here. So I'm going to start bringing that Sangria Sunset down into the lower lash line. I'm going to take it all the way around. So I'm gonna give this brush a spray really quick and damp it up. And to deepen this Sangria Sunset, I'm gonna put that as close as I can to the lower lash line. This is going to deepen it up a bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my lashes off camera. I'll be right back. I used the Lily Lashes in the style Paris and I am now going to start contouring. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. This is the shade 30 called Cafe and I usually use this. This used to be like one of my favorite things to contour with and since I don't want anything too dark or heavy, I'm going to use this. It's kind of like not too deep of a color for me. Usually when I contour, I like to use like a really deep color when I'm doing like a super dramatic look, but I don't really want too much of a dramatic look because I feel like these colors are very like fresh and like tropical almost. So now I'm going to set the contour and the concealing and everything. So I'm going to go in with this shade right here and kind of just start buffing that out into my contour areas. Now I'm going to take this shade right here to set wherever I concealed underneath the eyes and wherever I added that concealer. Now I'm going to use my L'Oreal Telescopic to apply the mascara to the lower lashes. I'm going to go in with Hustle Baby and this is one of their kilowatt highlighters. I'm going to take some of that and add it to the high points of my cheekbones just to add something different. But then I am going to go in and add the Sangria Sunset as a blush. I'm gonna grab some on a little brush and highlight my nose here. And the bridge of my nose. I can add some here, and here. So I'm gonna go ahead and dip this brush into the Mimosa Sunrise. And kind of just go in as a blush. Ooh. Oh, I think I might have gotten too much. Okay, 
Okay, let it go the long way, so make sure you take a little less than. Next, I'm gonna do lips, and I'm gonna take the LA Girl Lip Liner in the shade Natural Cream. I'm actually just gonna fill my lips completely in with this lip liner. So now I'm gonna take the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm, and I'm gonna go ahead and put that over the liner that I filled my lips in with right now. I'm just taking a little bit of Sangria Sunset, and I'm actually putting some on top of the gloss bomb to kind of give it a little bit of a tint. I'm gonna go back in with that Teeny Keeny Island Bling, and I'm gonna add more to the tear duct here. Okay, that just really made that pop. Wow. So I'm just gonna give it one last spray with the MAC Fix Plus. All right, so this is the final result of the review and the little tutorial I did with the new Beach Please products. Overall, I am really impressed with all of the products. This collection was really, really awesome. I think for summer, this is gonna be perfect. My favorite was definitely the Kilowatt Foil Mimosa Sunrise and Sangria Sunset. The one that I did have a little bit of trouble kind of maneuvering and using was the Island Bling. And it wasn't bad, like I absolutely love the colors and I love the shade Teeny Keeny that I have here in the tear duct and in the corner right here, in the corner of my eyes. That is my absolute favorite. I really love that so much. So I really tried to incorporate all the products that I bought today as much as I could. I have the Fenty foundation on, I have the new Kilowatt foil, and then I have the Island Bling. I didn't buy any of the lipsticks or lip glosses just because I felt like I didn't really use those shades as much. I'm not much of like a shimmery gloss person. So I didn't want to really buy that and invest in it and not really use it at all. But I do have the gloss balm, which is perfect. My review of the Fenty Beauty Beach Please collection is all positive. Loved every single product, some more than others. And yeah, I hope you guys really enjoyed this look. Don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more, as well as hit the bell down below so that you can be notified whenever I upload a video. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you in the next video. Oh,